So, what's up, AJT fam? We're going to do a recap from today. Another crazy day. Um, another rabbit pulled out of the hat. But it's really not a rabbit pulled out of the hat. It's just doing the same thing every day, over and over again. Not worrying about whether the trade works or not. Not worrying about whether you have one or two or three losers in a row. It's just going back, doing the same thing over and over again. When you get the opportunity, you take it. It's, it's basically what, what you do. Um, but the quick message I got for you today is, you know, you have to put you in the equation. Okay, you have to put you in the equation. All right, it's, you know, when I first started, you know, people told me I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough time. I couldn't do it while I was teaching. But I put me in the equation. I'm like, the only person that's responsible that could make it happen is me. Not everybody telling me that I can't do it, giving me every reason why I can't. It's, it's me. So you guys have to put you in the equation. Invest in you, in you. Invest in yourself. You know, I have people all the time that come back. They've been gone four or five years. They come back. They had to stop because life got in the way. But they're back because they're part of the equation. You know, they know life happens. Some You got to have responsibilities. You got to have your priorities right. But... You know, I'm here. You invested in yourself one time, and the door is always open. But you got to make sure you put you in the equation. Because whether you are a success or a failure is not about who you're with, it's about that man in the mirror. So make sure you put yourself in the equation. And, you know, let's make this thing work. All right, so let's take a look at our trades from today. Obviously, I was looking at STZ because it's on earnings in the morning. We're going to be looking at it. It drops at 745. No, 730. So, you know, we'll be in um, looking at that tomorrow morning. Um, so let's look at what did I trade today? Shit, I forgot. Microsoft, not Meta. <laughs> I completely forgot that I traded Microsoft today, not Meta. It's funny, Microsoft traded, has been trading really, really good. I picked it today and it traded like shit. I mean, I know it chopped this way up, you know, all the way up to 319, almost 320. And I got in at, what, 316.75 ish? That's a nice move. But it'd been really nice if it did it in the morning versus pulling all the way back, found all of this garbage. So, but what happened here? This is kind of a product of my own making here. So I got in, five minute opening range break, got the first target, it pulled back. Um, for some reason, my stop order um, got rejected. I, I don't know what happened, but it happens sometimes. And it got rejected. And so I had to, to stop out, but I accidentally bought instead of sell and so it started to bounce so I decided well you know if we get back over the the um, five minute opening range high I'm gonna go ahead and add to this being a full position and sure enough once it confirmed taking out the 20 that was my signal to get out I get out and the damn thing turns around and works its way back up now, this is not the best price action in the world. This is the most frustrating 
price action if you were trading this. But, you know, I, I would have been out with a base hit and, and been okay with this. But, you know, because I made, made this mistake and I went ahead and added and was looking for it to make another move, it didn't. I kind of, you know, I've got to take responsibility for that. You know, I, and and honestly, I looked at this and I said, hey, if this happened tomorrow, I would do it again. I would definitely do it again. Because I always look at my mistakes, I assess the situation, and I see if I could come up with a trade plan that makes sense. I had a trade plan to make sense based on the support here. We lost it. I had to take it off. So I didn't make a mistake here with the execution. Um, I made a mistake here trying to exit and, you know, tried to make something of it and it didn't work. So we had to move on from that. Went to um, EMPH, which is the only other stock I traded today. Again, looking for opening range breakout. I got it. Pull back. I added. That was my plan. I know how EMPH trades. It'll break out. It'll pull back. You know, it'll break out. It'll pull back. And then it'll start to run again. I, I was adding on the pullback. It did not take off. And again, I had to kill it. Okay, had to take it off and I had to kill it. Um, I did flip this short and when we bounced here and made a higher high, I had to take it off. Uh, I took it off close to break even. I was, had, I was at lunch and I was trying to take care of some stuff. Um, I don't even want to go into it, but I had to take care of some stuff with my mom and dealing with some contractors and I missed this I flat missed this and boy when I got off the phone with these guys and set up the meeting I was so upset but I waited until we hit the linear regression channel which was up here um it was at 1.1980 something. The linear regression channel was up here. Let me make it the right color so you know. That's what was up here. And so this is typically what I look for when I'm doing my reversals. I look for an, an aggressive move up. This is almost a parabolic move up. It's running into resistance which is the linear regression channel and you know I use this relig religiously and it works very very well um, so I got I shorted it off of that um, added so I got in full size got my first target here around the nine um, did not catch it like I should have here on the 20 but it bounced, I went ahead and took it off. And then once we started losing the 20, I got back in, um, took some profit here, and you know, got out all together, stopped out here. It did move down, but it wouldn't have hit my target. So I'm not upset about that. And as we started recovering, once we confirmed over all of this, um, which is now support used to be resistance we confirmed over it I got long got my first target here was the second target up here but didn't quite get there so I had to bail out before the market closed and I got some profit there so I took now I'm done for the day I'm looking at this and I took a really rough day a really kind of rough day and turned it into a positive day and all I did 
was stick to what I do. That's all I did. Stick to what I do. And we made it. So here is, hold on. So this is a PL. I lost, you know, 366.60 on the ordeal with Microsoft. But I made just over a thousand dollars on EMPH. Um, so this is not bad. If you look at the um, the snapshots from this week, it's it's not bad. This is kind of on par for the bad week that we've been having. And it's not that there's no money to be made. There is money to be made here. It's just that it's slow. The market's slow. We're, we're gearing up for earnings season. You know, market's really slow. So, not bad. If this is the worst day of the week, I'll take it all day long. I'll take it all day long. So just to give you just to give you uh, an idea, okay. Here's Monday. Monday we made. Let me blow this up. Monday we made fifteen twenty nine forty eight. Yesterday we made eleven eighty eight twenty five. You know, and today we you know only made six hundred bucks, but hey. Considering the kind of day it was, I'll take it. And if this is the worst day of the week, I'll take it. And I told you, STZ, we've got on earnings tomorrow. That just might bring us some good tidings. We got to look and see. The volume on it's a little light. Sometimes the spread may, be, may make it untradeable. But we'll see. If we get the opportunity... You know, I think that can be a good move for us. Kick our day off on the right foot. But, guys, don't succumb to all of these elements out here. As long as you put you in the equation, you're going to be a winner. All right? So make sure put you in the equation. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. It's time to go and work out with my daughter and my wife and her partner, my daughter's partner. We going to work, try to sweat off some of these pounds. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow.